Hello everybody, welcome to Build Flygo. So we continue our work on the tanks, on the fuel tanks. These are the main fuel tanks. You're looking at the right hand side one there. We're just finishing up some uh, end riveting um, on the sort of the end rib uh, for both sides here. Uh, that one is basically done. Uh, we just need to fill it up with uh, some water uh, probably and uh, a little bit of food coloring. Um, to see if there's any leaks in those uh, rivets that we can access right now. And then once that is done, uh, we'll empty it out and uh, add the, the rear baffle and glue that in and then pressure check it. The idea is that you want to catch any possible leaks before you put the back on, because if you put the back on and glue it in place and you discover any issues, you have to, you're not going to drill out all those rivets and try and peel all that uh, pro seal out you're gonna be cutting big holes in the back which isn't something you want to do <laughs> so uh, while that's going on i'm moving on to some priming over there that you saw of the wing uh, stiffeners i believe those are wing stringers and some of the extension pieces and now we're moving on to getting the ribs done on the left tank uh, you might have noticed that we did the right tank first that's just how timing worked out um no reason for doing one or the other first. So we're gluing all of the ribs in. Uh, you've seen this process before. Basically, you put a bunch of Pro Seal um, in the little Pro Seal squeeze gun that we have, um, put them on the ribs, and then insert the ribs in the in the tank skins and Clico everything. It's pretty messy. Um, it's it's actually surprisingly less messy than. You're led to believe uh, Pro Seal does get everywhere, so you know wear clothes you don't care about, but you know it's it's not too bad. So that was the next day, and I was just uh, riveting on the the smaller sort of half rib on the end there. It was just a short day for us, and uh, I get to continue on the spars. Uh, you'll notice that I'm. Counter, uh, countersinking some some rivets. There's a couple of nut plates that go on the the inboard end of the spars there that uh, are part of the attachment of the wing. So I was just uh, cleaning those up and getting ready for for those. These are the little extension pieces. You can you can barely see me working on them. So these spars, I have no idea why they have these little extensions on them. My suspicion is uh, the the van's tooling uh, just couldn't make spars long enough or there was some sort of shipping issue with something that long so you basically get an eight inch little extension that you rivet onto the end of the spar um, i'm sure it was a logistics or tooling issue and not a real reason for why you would want to make an extension like that as opposed to having it being part of the spar but anyway that's mostly riveted on um, and here we go we're uh just riveting those uh left fuel tank ribs into the fuel tank this is pretty, uh, honestly, to me, this is pretty miserable riveting. Um, it's it's messy. It's um, It takes forever because for every rivet, you have to clean it. You have to, you know, put Pro Seal on it, stick it in there, and then clean it again. And then you hit it, and then you clean it again, and then you put Pro Seal on it. So each of, for each of these rivets, it probably takes 30 seconds um, plus per rivet, as opposed to a, a normal rivet will take you, you know, five seconds to from from start to finish. Um, you just pop it in, you uh, rivet it, and then you move on to the next one. So this is a lot messier and, and a lot more work. Um, we did get a pretty good rhythm going here. So we closed this one out actually faster than expected. And this tank is basically almost done at this point. Uh, there's a couple of ribs to um, rivet, and you can see that on the side I'm working on some other little parts, other projects. I'm working on some of the uh, flap attachment brackets for the wings on the side there. Um, they're big, beefy uh, pieces of steel. Oh, another Easter egg there, you just missed it. Um, beefy pieces of steel of uh, aluminum so it's they're bigger than expected and uh here we go so we're gonna finish up riveting maybe if we get started there we go we got started we'll finish up riveting the left tank um very little to go here uh just the two i think it was two big two ribs and then the end stuff and then we're gonna glue in place the stringer that goes down the middle there we go i think that was a test fit 
And yeah, and there she is. That was our week. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.